Disney. <laughs> Can't go wrong with Disney. Yes. That's right. My kids and I recently watched a new episode of Mickey Mouse Funhouse. What made it so special is that this episode centers around a traditional Armenian festival involving water and water games called Vardavar. This new character, right there, named Ashig, appears dressed in traditional Armenian taras, speaking the language. Wow. Traditional foods are mentioned. The scene is modeled it's after beautiful. a traditional Armenian architecture. This is the first ever representation of Armenian culture at Disney. And I talked to the woman behind the voice of Ashig about what this experience was like, what it meant to her to have this role being of Armenian heritage herself. I was in disbelief because I was like, there's no way, again, I was like, there's no way this is real. <laughs> like, what am I reading? And I don't, I was like, I don't know if my rep has any other Armenian talent. I don't know who else is up for this. And so I was, I was like, I'm, I'm going to get this role. I'm going to put everything into it. I'm going to make her so fun and cute and inviting. And um, they liked it. <laughs> Mimi, I have special powers to remove the water from your dress and I can make it beautiful again. But if I've heard such great things about you all. I'm so happy you're here to enjoy Vartavar, to celebrate with me by having fun. Are you ready to get splashed? So wow. fun to That's see the cute. process. She I looks know. beautiful. She reminds me of a, a little bit of Princess Jasmine. Oh, okay. I and asked Belle. her, had she seen the character prior to doing the voiceover? And she said she had. Mm -hmm. And it already had in her mind what she was going mm -hmm. to do. But then seeing the character, it actually was along the lines of what she was thinking. Like, yes. very pleasant, oh. like, very friendly. But, like, so beautiful and it was just, just fun. Ethereal. You know, it was cool to watch this episode, and then I was watching for the reaction of my kids. And every oh, time they said yeah. something that was, you know, wh whether it was the language or something familiar, like lavash, right, uh -huh. the Armenian brand they mentioned they would light up like I saw their eyes yeah. just light up and it was so sweet because representation matters right. it does and it's so nice well we I say that all the time when we do stories but this time actually I say it and I feel it mm -hmm. and yeah. it's a really nice feeling and to see yeah. that in your kids is yes. a whole different yes. thing uh -huh. you know and she's so talented I mean she speaks four languages she grew up in Montreal lives in Toronto oh. right now so she speaks Armenian Arabic because she's half Lebanese English um, and French probably. French yeah. exactly wow. and maybe one of the girls gonna be her for Halloween? I don't know. I hadn't gone that far. Of okay. course, she's thinking of Halloween already. All right. Any